pressure control and again if you watch this for the first time please go back and watch my videos in order to understand what we're talking about the trigger is by default is assist control trigger assist control so we have to provide a backup rate which means the respiratory rate that you sit on the ventilator and you have to provide a patient trigger flow or pressure trigger for the assist and the backup rate for the control rate so you have to provide this the target here from its name pressure the pressure control took its name from the target so it's pressure target so you have to provide the ventilator or respiratory therapist with what is your pressure target which means your desired proximal airway pressure during inspiration to be do you want it to be i'm sorry do you want it to be 10 centimeter hto or 20 or 15 whatever you want it to be and it's by centimeter hto so that's a number you have to provide it called inspiratory pressure the third thing cycle here is basically time you have we have to tell the ventilator how many seconds we need to spend in inspiration and that's immediately means that we have to provide directly set the inspirator is it one second 0.5 seconds whatever we need to tell the ventilator so things you need to provide here then are a backup rate as a respiratory rate on the ventilator a patient trigger which is flow or pressure and then you have to provide the proximal airway pressure value that you want during inspiration you have to provide inspiratory time inspiratory time is the cycle here and then provide of io2 and peep as all other modes what missing here you probably will see is where is tidal volume it's not directly set by us here tidal volume depends on other factors will depends on the pressure value here because based on this pressure value the flow will change because the flow dependent on this and flow plus the inspiratory time will decide how much tidal volume more flow and more inspiratory tidal, uh, time means logically more tidal volume and the opposite is true so tidal volume is not directly set but there's factors that we can change as i said by playing with the inspiratory time as we just explained and changing the rate increasing the pressure means increasing the flow required for that that will increase the tidal volume and of course as you know reversing those things will decrease tidal volume